Oh God's hand. I love this. She did play with my energy. Don't stop. Get it all I say you messing with a gangsta. Who got away for your karma? Tired of a devil, little drama. If you wanna leave, just leave. No pressure. If you wanna leave, just leave. No pressure. I love YouTube with your boy, Eddie Adams. And I'm back with another banger. Today, I'll be making Nigerian Jello fries. So basically, I know I have no excuse, but this is my first time making jello fries. To be honest, my first time cooking anything outside, no lose, for a long time. And that doesn't mean I don't know how to cook, at the same time, that doesn't mean I know how to cook. That's for you to know. So my mom has given me a recipe and guided me through the steps, helped me with the ingredients, and I'll be making jello fries. Here I have my ingredients, I have my geezer, my chicken, my rice, my plantain, you know, as side dishes, my thyme, my curry, my salt, everything here and every other thing I need ready for me. So you guys, get ready, watch the video, enjoy the video, and I hope you try your love soon. Hopefully it comes out well. I'm scared, I can't lie. I'm really scared. Hopefully I like it. So let's come into the video and let's go into it. Yeah? hello my people so i'm going to be doing a voiceover here yeah? so first off you know you wash your hands i've done that already so now i'm washing the chicken you know, making sure i get every part clean perfectly so now um you know seasoning the chicken and all that now i have to cut the onions that i'm going to put in the jello fries blend into it and also into my chicken very important you know now I'm cutting the chicken I'm um, sorry cutting the onions cutting the onions I use a very blunt knife and please pardon the tray I couldn't find where the cutting board was in the house so please I apologize for that but it's just taking me like that so that's me putting the onions into the chicken place yeah I know stirring it hopefully I know what I'm doing <laughs> Some people season their chicken before putting it, but please, I can't afford to burn the chicken, so I'd rather season it when I've put everything on the fire. At least, I believe it works that way. Mmm, looking good, well seasoned. This is it, now on the fire, watching it cook. So let's wait for it to cook for like 10 minutes. Now it's time for me to prepare my jello fries, you know. I'm going to blend this, so I'm washing it. Now I'm about to put this in the blender, you know, making sure that my pepper and all that, you know, comes out well in the jello fries. So that's me about to, you know, put it in the fire after putting some water so that it blends properly. Yeah, so it's ending. Yeah, this thing is so loud. Yeah, well, probably my first time using a blender in a while. I'm always imagining that I'll make smoothies, but I never do. So that's my chicken already ready. So I poured the something that I've, I don't know what to call it inside the pots that I blended. And this is my, you know, stock, I think, from the chicken. And I apparently has some taste. I'm going to put that. Apparently, it's very important, you know. So people don't taste anything. Yeah, so I'm putting it. I don't even know how much to put, so I'm just putting more than enough. I put half, I think. Yes, yeah, so I was like, should I put more? I was just looking, should I put more? Should I put more? But well, I didn't know whether to. Yeah. After some time, I just kept putting and putting until I felt satisfied. I feel like Nigerian dishes, most of them, is more of like intuitive. You know, you just do what you want to do, or uh, what you feel is right. Then you just leave the rest to God and to the taste buds of whoever is eating the food so now i'm about to put this is curry powder for the jello fries and all that still didn't know what i'm about to put because there was no measurements anything i was about to put too much at first then i was like okay let me just level it on the on the cover of the curry powder a little not too much yes and I felt when my eyes were satisfied, then I decided to put it inside. Oh my god, I need a chef. Let's just take a minute to admire my outfit. I dressed for you guys. Don't play. Dressed for you guys. 
that's my vegetable oil you know um it's funny how some people use this for anointing oil <laughs> oh my god yeah it's so funny yeah i put like two spoons i think i put two spoons for that that's me stirring it i didn't even know the grip to take but i think i took the right grip for stirring something in the pot yay and now i'm about to put my you know maggi thing you know the seasoning i can't remember the exact brand for this one but like the seasoning you know like the maggi was equivalent to maggi yeah now i'm covering my pot so it cooks for a while yes First off, I just want to say apologies for this dance. You know, sometimes we all run kolo kolo. Mm. No, for for real? Huh? Okay, this is pumpkin. Whoa, 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 whoa! I made this. Wow. POV, you didn't believe you made something. Come on, let's continue dancing, Joe. Banging! Come on, I don't know what's with the bedroom voice I've been doing since. Come on, let's go into active bathroom voice, shouting and screaming. So let's go. Now I'm about to, you know, fry my chicken. I don't know why, but it was only the small frying pan we had in my house. Uh, for God knows why. Probably we don't fry a lot of things. Or oh, that was the only one I saw. It's someone that uses the kitchen and knows where things are, I guess. So, you know, I'm trying to put fit in every chicken there, but obviously this ended up not being a success. So I had to do them in batches, but I tried. So now I'm putting everything in, you know, the chicken and the gizzard, you know. This is a very important part of the meal. I can't lie. You know, in like African homes, like the meat is like a reward in the food. I just want to say this is not a tutorial. So please don't learn from me. The sacrifices of my parents in church is working for me. You know, they were serving God, so they cannot make my God cannot make my jollof rice, you know, fail. So if you like, follow me. It's my fail for you. Oh my god, look at this sexy chicken. I can't wait to dive into this so that the chicken bones can be a bone for my bone and the flesh a flesh for my flesh. I can't lie there, I just narrowly escaped because all is splashed. Thank god I wasn't even close. But you know, when you're in the kitchen, you always try to get things to eat. So I was tasting my gizzard, don't blame me, you know. Parents do it too. So this is my, you know, jollof um soup stuff you know ready for me to put the rice in so i go in get my long grain rice you know wash it you know some people parboil their rice first but i didn't know if i was meant to do that for you know jollof rice so i don't think i did it so i washed the rice first washed it several times like two or three times to make sure the water was clean that's what i was told i believe so so now it's time for me to pour the rice into the pots Now I've basically done most of the steps and now I've poured my rice. So I'm stirring it to make sure that it spreads around the soup, the soup, the pepper and everything blends in with the rice, you know, they enter themselves. But do you know the thing? Now I'm about to taste the salt, but I can't lie, when I'm tasting food, I never taste any salt. So I can't even taste anything, I'm just doing it for the sake of, you know, every cook does it. 
now to the gizzard to the gizdo -do. i specially requested for this one very important to me who knows what gizzard is made from i know it's from chicken but what part of the chicken i love this so now i've caught the plantain a very important part of the meal sorry for the no cutting board so now i'm checking on the rice and it's looking good now my brother came here around this point to come and threaten me that since my mom said this is the lunch the food was be good i'm like baba i never said it has to be lunch but okay since your mom trusts me so now i'm finding my plantain you know though i stole the plantain from the house i didn't buy this one but war one war one so don't find the plantain it's looking good i wanted it to be a little bit more dark but i'm not going to risk burning any plantain yeah oh look at that sumptuous thing oh this thing will be so delicious in my mouth you can imagine the juice everything looking looking so nice so what's oh, this that is my life mm. it's tasting like party jozo i love this it's making sense yes I'm done cooking my first time making jello fries. Wow, I'm proud of myself. I like how this is looking. Okay, uh, my gizdo, um, my chicken, my jello at the side, my plantain, everything served, made by me, sponsored by me. You know, I just got a food recipe for my mom, you know, telling me that these are the steps, help me to buy the ingredients. And I love her for that. Shout out to my future wife who will be helping me with this as well. You know, make food together, breakfast, lunch, dinner. So, um, my family has said this food. My mom gave it uh, 8 out of 10. Uh, maybe 9 is for her, 10 is for God. Who knows? <laughs> and then my brother gave it 7 out of 10. Said something about the salt not being the best, but not bad, but like it was not what he wanted. But I just feel like the boy just wants to say something. Well, I think it was good. Um, so I'll taste it and give myself my own rate. No, I'll give myself a 10 over 10 and buy us. But like, just see what I think about it. I'll just take like two or three spoons. Yeah. Um. Hmm. It's just like, I think I said it before, but I don't know. It's just like party jollof. I love how I love the love fries. That's why I didn't put the all the hmm. This is a ten out of ten. No, no. That's why I didn't put the vegetables and everything like making it obvious. How that's why I blended it. Wow, this is a ten out of ten for me. I can't even lie. Like go, I did go, go make your own. I know you guys saying jello fries is not special. Why am I just making it for the first time? Eh? What? Well, it's my excuse. I went to boarding school and things like that. But well, now I'm going to cook more. Let me wait. So I'll give the rice a ten out of ten. My my this dodo, my gizzard. Hmm. Not bad. I'll give this a nine. I'm not even being biased. My plantain. What is it more black? Well, no one's really spawning it. Okay, it's nice, soft. Nice. My plantain tastes nice. And empty is the chicken. Hmm. Oh guys, I love this. This is wonderful. Yeah, I'll give that a eight out of ten. So this is my video of making jello fries for the first time. 
I'm encouraging you guys try it. Jello fries is from Nigeria, a one very wonderful meal. Um, Nigeria has the best jello fries, so I definitely did Nigerian jello. And love you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> don't play. <laughs> Always bite into every chef. Any, don't play. They will never accept that our food is good. They will just never accept our food is good. Yeah. Your food is good, is that what you want to hear? Yeah, that's what I want to hear. Now can I watch my movie?